We're gonna show you how we deep fry almost anything on keto coming up. My name's Emily and my twin sister Sarah is filming right now and we've lost over 160 pounds following a ketogenic lifestyle. One of the things that we missed the most when we were living a carb filled lifestyle was deep fried foods. But you can eat those on keto but you just need to bread them a different way and we're gonna show you how in this video. Today we're gonna be making fried mozzarella sticks, fried pickles, and fried onion rings. But once you learn the versatility of this combination, you can use it for chicken, shrimp, and a bunch of other things too. And before we get started, I know that a lot of you are going to be like, can I do this in an air fryer? And the answer is probably, but since Sarah and I don't own an air fryer because we're like the last people on earth that don't have an air fryer, we're gonna be using good old fashioned avocado oil. And I know some of you are also going to be asking, wouldn't it be better to use an air fryer? Like you would have less calories and less fat? And the answer is probably, but once again, we don't own an air fryer. So this is gonna be done the old fashioned way. So for this recipe, you're going to need pork rinds or we just started using this product. This is pork panko, which are pork rinds which they've already pulverized into a dust which is perfect for breading. We'll leave a link to this pork panko in the description below but this is a lot of pork rinds that you're gonna get for your money. This would be like several bags of pork rinds and it's way easier to store and keep it rather than keeping these big bags of pork rinds all around your house so I definitely recommend trying these. The other thing that you're going to be needing is almond flour. I know that there's going to be people that ask can I use something else? I'm allergic to nuts and you could probably use unflavored whey protein isolate for this layer if you wanted to but we prefer almond flour because we can eat it. So to depending on what you're going to want to be frying, we're going to be doing mozzarella sticks, pickles, and onions. So let's get started with that. So I made my three breading stations, which consists of almond flour in one, I'll be using about a half a cup, two eggs for egg wash, and about half of a cup of pork rinds. I've seasoned all three with salt, pepper, and we use the Flavor Gods Garlic Lover Seasoning. We'll link this one in the description below. It's really, really good. Because you want every layer to have its own seasoning so it tastes good. We have our white onions here. Um, I don't know. I prefer kind of medium sized ones, but it's probably easier just to use the large ones. You want to cut them pretty thick. And then we're going to dredge these in a three step process that you're going to use for basically every recipe. Remember that you should be using one hand for the wet ingredient and one hand for the dry ingredient, because if not, you're going to get this all over your fingers and it's going to be cake. And it's easier said than done because a lot of the time I end up with an entire battered hand. So let's uh, try to do this properly. My right hand is going to be the wet hand. So into the wet ingredient. And then we're gonna do our first layer of almond flour, like that. And then back into the egg, and into the pork rind. And you might have to kind of press the pork rind into there, but that's okay. Here you have it. And we're gonna put them aside, ready to be fried. That rhymed. Okay, um, here we have our onion rings. We're just gonna do four for right now. And they look really good. Let us gently drop them in the oil. Medium heat for a minute. Keep an eye on it. You're gonna wanna get a paper towel on a plate to drain. It takes about a minute. Remember, an onion is not much of anything, so don't leave it in there too long. You're just looking for your nice golden brown color. I haven't had onion rings in quite some time. They smell awesome. With a burger. Or for the game, come on. I don't know what game. Uh, Super Bowl is happening soon and I don't even know who's playing in that, so go team. We're trying to teach Charlie how to press a button to communicate. Use your words. Outside. Outside. Okay. Can you press it? Outside. Yay. Sarah, you've created a monster. Congratulations. Outside. Uh-oh. You're cute. It's cute until he's pressing outside 50 times a day. Outside. You're so funny. So I should probably listen to my own advice and leave it, but I couldn't help but like try to flip it five times. And this is what happens when you do. Outside. Okay. We have a naked onion ring here. That's right, it's still edible. The dogs are pressing the outside button now every five seconds. And here we go again. Outside. Charlie, what are you doing? When they go out, they get a treat. And so now they've bypassed the outside to give me a treat. <laughs> Time to get rid of the button, Sarah. He's communicating. I wanna get him 50 more buttons. There's a dog on Instagram called Bunny and she knows how to actually talk in sentences. And so Sarah thought this was gonna be a good idea. I don't really wanna know what my dog is. Okay. 
If malfunction. Yeah, sorry. Have you ever seen Ex Machina? It's like when it goes wrong, it starts to all go wrong. It, they look amazing and I can't wait to try it. Mmm, so good. All right, so I'm excited to try it because I have not had an onion ring in a long time. Mmm, this tastes just like a regular onion ring. I haven't had one in years, so I can't really tell you that it tastes exactly the same, but this is like the perfect keto replacement. And up next, we're gonna make some deep fried pickles. Here we have our pickle chips, and we're going to eat them. Place them on a paper towel, because the last thing that you wanna do is put a really wet pickle into oil and have it splatter all over you and burn you forever. So after you've drained your pickles, we're going to bread them the same exact way. That just goes to show how versatile this recipe is. And I'm gonna use the same method. Um, I'm gonna do maybe three at a time. You don't wanna overcrowd the oil and you wanna be able to see what's going on, so. Gently. Oh, <laughs> they just, okay. How do you like it? I don't like it. Me no likey. It takes about a minute or two. Just keep an eye on it. There's nothing to cook on the inside. You wanna make sure that the pork rinds are nice and golden brown. Have you ever had deep fried pickles? Honestly, no, but I like pickles and I like the spreading, so I'm sure I'll like it. It's time to try these pickles. I've never had a deep fried pickle before, but I'm sure I'm gonna like it, so. Mmm. It still tastes like a pickle, which is a good thing. It doesn't be, it's not covered up by the other flavors. Make sure to let them cool down because they're pretty hot. Hot! <laughs> And the last thing that we're going to be deep frying are mozzarella sticks and we use string cheese. So just get some string cheese, open the package, and I'm gonna cut these in half. Make sure that the string cheese is cold when you're doing this. And it's gonna be the same thing again. Into the egg, into the almond flour, into the egg, into the pork rind. I just wanna add, when you're adding almond flour and your pork rinds into the bowls, use less than you think that you might need because you can always add more to the bowls, but once you contaminate all this stuff, you're not gonna be able to put it back into the package it came from. So use less and add more if you need to. And now you're gonna deep fry them for one to two minutes. I know I'm gonna love this. I used to order an appetizer uh, for the table, but then I would be like, so what are you guys eating? Because I'm eating all the mozzarella sticks. Okay. So use your favorite sugar-free marinara sauce or ranch. Ranch goes with everything. And if you would like to see the video where we use this technique to make copycat snack wraps from McDonald's with chicken, you can click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily and Sarah's behind the camera today and we are the Keto Twins, signing out.